Hey, priest is up. Jack, rear thrusters. Jack, picnic basket. 
Hello and we're watching now or later, Hidina here along with Rakir. And welcome back to Darksiders War Master Edition. And before we do anything else, much a bit of a PSA. Uh, Twitch got hacked recently, so if you have an account, change your freaking password because they leaked everything to my knowledge. So yeah, change your password. <laughs> Anyways, last time we got to the second dungeon and we got through it entirely, which I hadn't actually expected. We are making good progress with this. Yep, and I gave you advice that there was something good at the area we were at at the very start of that episode, at the start of the, start of the game. Yeah. And we ran all into more goods that I remembered being there. <laughs> yeah. But so... yes, I knew something good was there. Just the dude was that many. Yeah, we ended up over here. Well, not exactly here. <laughs> we do say it's funny and quickly on top of us. Uh, uh, insert the Akati sax here. Because that was on a freaking ass. I can try. Uh. No, no, I was about to do the damn third song down. I, I don't think I can hit that song. Okay, yeah. let's just head over to Volgrim so we can fast travel around. And yeah, then we have to head back to Samuel. Samuel. I'm, I think I'm still pronouncing it wrong. You can just say Sammy. Wait, and we unlocked this earlier. No, it, it must have not saved. something to cry about. Well done. Now then, let's deal. The <laughs> little wiggle that he did. Ugh, <laughs> uh, Ogrem. Oh, 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 the has got something new for you. Slaughter's bonus generates impact rounds. Yeah, I can hear myself echo a bit on your end. I'm going to make away a bit. Let's see. And we have a little bit more. Oh, don't forget, we want to buy that uh, thing that they uh, generate the uh, wrap for us. Yeah. Old Volgrim's got something new for you. And what do we have over here? Okay, now of course we also have attacks for these. So I'll Ooh. probably be sticking with the, just Chaos Eater and the site. I'm entirely sh well, I'm, I'm guessing that Chaos Eater is going to be the uh, average uh, on both attack speed and damage. The, si the, the, the site can hit multiple targets, but it's slower in its attacks. And I think also a bit lower in overall damage, which is, well, it, the more dam damage you're facing, the higher it gets. Then I'm guessing that these, the, the gauntlet, uh, that will probably be the slow and powerful attacks. Okay. Oh. Now, let's head back here. And I forgot to set up my phone as the screen manager again. So whilst we are moving around here, I can also set that up. And when you do that, I eat my sandwich. And no, I'm not related to heavy. Okay. I'm not really sure if I've seen much of a fast travel system that hides its loading like this lately, except for the... Yeah, the God of War reboot. Well, not really reboot, but continuation. The God of War with the name, with the year behind the name instead of a subtitle or so. What would you ask of this okay. I'm I, really on. <laughs> I want to see if yeah, I can get someone to make a keychain out of that. What the? True. Yeah. Come on, bye. 
You seem to be having a lot of problems with those. Actually, this year, last year, I barely had problems with them. Okay. Sweet, uh, I had a banana fly. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> You see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hellguard worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? Huh. Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon, and he will be punished. Straga is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire, and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worms that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some fool demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport. And they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. The demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster, there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the ashworms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the old ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the old masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Chronospheres. It won't be much, perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. Perhaps? Perhaps not. What in this life is certain, horsemen? Other than our word, of course. Okay, that was quite a bit. So we've got the Stygian to deal with, and then Straga. Let's see. Chronomancer. Walker now activates Chronospheres and temporarily slow in time. Let's see. Where will be the exit to this area then? Group monster. Green King was two. Uh, let's have a check. One, one. Okay, it, it's behind the uh, crystal. Now, let's see, if I remember... I think... Oh yeah, it's one we have to slot in. Hmm. Yeah, oh. let, let's put that... Or if we put it on the side, will that also count if we have it equipped? Because this thing is really useful in leveling these things up. So, we'll, we'll just have to see. Actually, we can test it out right now. Yes, it's recharging on its own. Okay, <laughs> that is useful. It will grant us less souls for a while. But oh well. Broth is really useful, even though we've been hardly using it. And yeah, Uriel, the uh, current leader of the Hellguard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she saw Abaddon got squished like a freaking <laughs> Gargi as well, but uh, 
yeah, she holds War accountable because, yeah, supposedly he started the apocalypse. When, well, we saw that he didn't. They were already long there. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd actually miss that uh, she was probably in love with Abaddon as well. So that that explains why uh, she's a bit unreasonable about it all. What's wrong if you in love? It's in more, more like a... Uh, yeah. Fangirl? Uh, less than professional admiration. Typically that's uh, saying for love. Or similar. In, I'm used to being in love or extremely near a fan pool. Also, I'm, I, I'm, no, I'm noticing now that the ro our wrath is regenerating even with the, the site not equipped in. Okay, using chronospheres, hold the power to slow down time, use the crossplay to activate at a distance. Okay. Ah, I see what? what is going on. This is going to open up a gate that's going to close too soon for us to just run through. Maybe we have one of these ornates. It lights up when we get close, or is that just... It might just be more effect coming in since we're clo coming closer. Oh, alright. Anyways, going to make a small change then. We're going to put that back on there. And then we're putting that on the glove. Or the gauntlet. That slows time. And... Okay, activating it breaks the effect because otherwise <laughs> it would stay stuck. And it has that to show, of course. Okay. Give us a bit more time. And the faster ticking is to signify the effect running out. Okay. We have no need to fight this guy, so let's just grab the souls and run. Because they're a pain. Why not just root horse at him? Yeah, that still would take an annoying long time. Because they don't actually do that much damage, I believe. Yeah, yeah, keep on laughing. I always check the other side. That's another 500. <clears throat> That's another 500 souls to turn in when we return to Vulcan. This place is probably going to remind us both a lot of uh, of Nightfall. Okay, now I can't just pluck these things like your normal brethren. Nightfall? Guild Wars Nightfall. I never played the first one. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, the area north of Vadi, the desert. In the, in the original uh, series, you had to go around this that as well. I, the desolation, if I remember correctly, it's called. And yeah, you had to get around with worms. Okay, we don't read them all. That... Fallen Angels? <laughs> I'd only just remembered that. Fallen or Death Angels? Same animation. Yeah, 
uh, like I said, low damage. Yeah. Four. Okay. Yeah, like see, that, that only took two hits from Chaos Eater after staggering them. Or leaving them vulnerable, however, whatever you want to use. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that, that means that currently the site does about the, a third of the damage of the Chaos Eater. Yeah, dude, the Chaos Eater have higher level. Yeah, and um, are we going to have to deal with another set of challenges or so? Wait, yoink. It's another 500. Hold at the moment. Yep. I kind of randomly wandered over here. Oh, and that's another set. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, that's not another set. It didn't save after last time, after we got the one that you remembered. So it's still in the... It's still in the flooded area. Wait, wait, what? Seriously, wait, 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 wait. Fight something. It hit something. So I can see the health. No, we still have our four. That's because we just picked up a new one. Otherwise, we would have had one now. So yeah, we're going to have to find that thing again. It means we're not missing only one new thing. We're missing a lot of things. It depends on that when the game uh, saved our, our progress with that. Let's say this. If we didn't save that health, it didn't save anything. What would you ask? Good chance, yeah. No, don't want to get over here. Shredder. Rape souls from enemies. Take your time. Let's upgrade our arsenal a bit. You are powerful. You fly too hard a bargain, friend. Excellent Devil choice. Boss. Oh, that's a counter. Yeah, we're going to want to up that. At least we have more green help us teleport back over there. Yeah, but we're not going to do that right now. On the way back, we will. Or I'll just off-screen it a bit because we've already seen it be done. <laughs> this way. And yeah, just more bats to pluck. Nothing else over here. Yeah, look at this game, I can see how it looks like the Salation for, yeah. I played the Salation in Pilot 2. Yeah. Only thing we're missing are buildings made out of centaur bones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, here comes someone who's going to volunteer their bones. Did I find him on fire? Okay. It's your ride. Yeah, I think he is just hacking away at those horns. <laughs> no, he just plain pulls one off. <laughs> no. Didn't actually need to fight, but uh, yeah, these guys are probably worth a lot of souls. <laughs> They're about 80 or so. Now, hmm. what have we here with this thing? Okay. Oh. I 
think I remember something. Yep, it'll just pick it back up again. Might. Let's see. Is there something here? It's a fancy chest. What do you have? Carnage. War fills with hatred and generates chaos at an accelerated rate. Okay. Is that something we have to equip? Yes, it is. Okay, so more chaos form. Hmm. Actually... Additional soul rewards when assigned to the site, which... Does that mean... The other one is in effect as well, so does that mean that we're getting more souls just in general? That probably is the case. Unless it is soldiers only for the side. It does say great. Let's double check again. The additional soul rewards when assigned to the side. Boosts the amount of souls required. Okay, I, I'm guessing it just has an even bigger multiplier for the side. Oh dear. Okay. Boom. Uh, now we can move her. Now we can uh, get across there. So, can we even reach it like this? Nope. Okay. Is there anything else? We can jump from here, which is a lot closer. We can also jump to. Nothing in here, just a safe space to land. What the horrible grenades. Yeah, that's why he has the gauntlets. Yeah, but, but some reason I feel like it could be built through the hand and little <laughs> Okay, I remember one thing. I know of one thing from this area. Okay, get around. <laughs> and I won't I won't say what it is yet. But it is something that uh, We've sort of seen already off on, on with war, though not in actual gameplay. Sleep. Okay, <laughs> I should have I should have heeded my own advice and checked the other way for free souls. But oh well. Immediately I check behind and I do find something again. In fact. Okay. Wait, that one looks special. Yeah, a life shard is <laughs> special enough. I expected something else due to the shadows. What then? Enemies? No, more like a very powerful item. Uh, they'd not be that in the open with uh, those. Wait, take it. What would you ask? Nothing to hand in. So, yeah, just teleportation location. And here we get to the Ashlands. And. Oops. Yeah, I can see what you mean here. Yep, we've got a bug problem. Oh dear. What about me earlier? You know the, how people dislike when you scratch your nails against a blackboard? Yeah. I have not heard of a new version of that. Samaya wasn't kidding yeah. about those words. And the Stygian's supposed to be the mean one. Right. 
Yeah, roll to take. I mean, just pulling your knees against it. You, you, you know, just get a huge scream. Oh, yeah. Just screeching loudly. Yeah, and there's supposed to be a new sort of don't, broken don't sound like that. There's so many people scratching against the blackboard. I have, but I, maybe I just missed her because it sounded more <laughs> like you meant that there's a new uh, sound that is even worse than that. Uh, no. I don't have to have sound that's like, you know, that's one of the things, I don't think people realize that it's more unpleasant about it. And I felt, it's pretty long that, no, okay. Well, I find it. And it is horrible against your manual. But every time I hear that sound, my 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 ear. The head is this carnage. Are you alright? Never mind. You're not alright. Not anymore, that's for freaking sure. <laughs> okay. Something is unhappy. And uh, we. Blue versions of these things now. Of electric versions of them. <laughs> well. I'll deal with these things. All of mine. No, you don't. And there we go. Put him on the health back as well. <laughs> and yeah, we need to get over there. But he gets blocked off. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so this area also has a big ass uh, Mount Max feel to it. But then again, every desert uh, gets that when you start building in it. <laughs> okay, up and also up, but on the inside. Okay. Uh, switch, so it's probably useful. That is less useful, War. Uh, where... Can we even get back up? Oh, there. For me, I felt it really... Like we were going to get eaten by the worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's give it another shot. This time without <laughs> jumping down. There we go. Not too close to the blades. What will you do? Okay, lowers it down. That that's easy enough. That means that up above is something off, off the beaten path. So we are going to look there. There we go. Now then. Let's wait for it to get away a bit. I didn't want to lock onto that. Okay, screw it. The sand is also slowing us down because we have to trudge through it. I should remember to, uh, to bring him up more often. Also, it's just... <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, what? Well, was not expecting it to show up there. Yeah, wait. Are these things literally called food demons? Hmm? Did, Which did ones? But Samuel told you to go away and call the demons here food demon. Now our shadow assistant called them food demons as well. These food demons. Like, that's uh, if that's what the name of the species. Yeah, I doubt that. Are you really what if they're being idiots? Some sort of drill? We get a lot of knockback with that attack. Enough to keep fucking him over into the sand. to want to get <laughs> also knocked back quite a bit. What but, uh, this one is by pressing the sprint or the dodge button and attack at the same time. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I need to vary up my attacks a bit more than just uh, slash slash slash. I can't actually get there because, yeah, they, they have a zip line to get over here. Or can we? Okay, we, have, we obviously can. This is going to have to climb up this thing. Which is going to be made a lot harder with it spinning like that. Okay. Well, what is this uh, construction? Yeah, I'm guessing it is some sort of drill. Or something to stir up the worms. Like a lure or something. Hmm. Also, of course, all of this it has uh, big similarities uh, to Dune, which is actually getting a new remake or, or a new movie uh, soon. I don't actually know when it is set to release. Next year, think or soon. I know that they, it is more closer to the books than the first movie. So it's going to be six hours long. But they want to be as painful to the book as possible. <laughs> okay, it's like the idea of frightening stratosphere. What is this going to do? Okay, just lower that into place. Then we can start climbing up without getting turned into minced meat. Okay. How did I do that? I have no idea how I did that. Oh. It wasn't him sliding down, it was him catching himself again. Yeah, okay. From what I, I thought it was a different move. <laughs> so, yeah. I love you can fight when, when on the climbing board. In many games, if something attacks you when climbing, you're basically defenseless. Yeah. <laughs> it is for, for staying on a ledge like that. Better than getting Sparta kicked off it by war, I think, which would probably turn him into a freaking mist. Also, screw y'all, you. Yeah, why fight them if I can just knock them over and be done with them? Let's see. It's got an updraft there. We have nowhere to climb up here except for well into the blades. Okay. This way then. Oh, 
There's probably going to be a chest hidden underneath one of these at some point. Oh, we're actually not dead. Let's remedy that. There. Now what is this over here? Is this volcanic rock or something? So that's a deep asshole. Okay, we're going to need to blow up that, that up sooner or later. Question is, where are the bombs? And what are they doing for? Yeah, I, I really get the feeling they are just to agitate the worms into action or something. Maybe to try and exhaust them. Because, yeah, if they were exhausted, then they were much easier to catch. And yeah, hitting the hitting the drill hurts <laughs> because of just how freaking fast it goes. I should look if I can upgrade that. Uh, because it has a rather pitiful range. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Okay, these are active actually. So good. Enjoy. It's still alive! Yeah, but not for long. Okay. okay. Am I going to have to activate that ground thing just to get the bomb over there? Or oh, I did throw that one a bit early. Over there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to activate it, I think. So, where did they put it? It got lowered down from here, so it should be down. Do you just go Oh, I see the problem already. It's blocked in by the freaking crystal. Hmm. At least we are going to have to get one of those over to it. Will we get an angle on this thing? Wait, there's a second. And we've lost quite a bit of health here, actually, so far. It's a good thing that we've been getting a lot of health. Oh. <clears throat> a lot of health upgrades. Yeah. 
here. How did we get on? What did we supposed to do here? We need to bring this. We need to get one of these downstairs. But we don't have enough time to walk it over. And we can't hit. Oh, actually, I think I see what we have to do. We don't have enough time with it normally, but. Now we have enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's even flies in slow motion after you leave it. Okay, that got rid of the entire thing and Okay, it looks like there is a drill head on these things, so... Okay, maybe they are foot... They are digging for something. That or again, they are digging to... Yeah, agitate the worms so they exhaust themselves. Either way, it's not really our business except for where to find these... And idiots to kill them. Try to fall down or head back. Up we go. Yes. We got the side here. And always good to check. <laughs> Just a consumable. No. Hello there. And goodbye. <laughs> Hello again, and farewell. Uh, this one we can't hit, so let's bring it up or down or wherever it goes. Okay, so now we have one down here. Here, but what use is that going to be for us? We definitely can't hit it from this side. What do we have next? We need to find where the fool demons are holding the city. Oh, I see. We need to get over there to continue. Okay, those, those still are hurt. <laughs> oh, great, great gap. Okay, we still made it, but that hurt. Ow, and hello. Goodbye. We are going to abuse that move so much. Just anything would knock back. Yeah, knock him back his button. Okay. So we're going on the ground. That, that should keep us safe from the worms. <laughs> oh, you lucky fuck. Lucky um, my arm. Yeah, he's lucky that he landed here. And then again, he was also unlucky enough <laughs> for us to kill personally. Okay. Okay, okay one. And yeah, come on. <laughs> I did that right in front of us. Okay, I'm 
going to guess that the, the worms are not going to like water, so we should be safe here. Um, okay. At least one artifact, even though it's not the big one. No way to yeah, the problem is going to be how do we reach it. Wait. Are the demons speaking for water? A road? Hmm. We don't know if they have uh, needs. Back to your fish sticks. Let's have a look at our map. Okay, that shows... Hmm. Doesn't show anything else that connects on the other side of that. But it could just be that we haven't found that yet. Otherwise, I think we might have to get there by floating. Nope. Uh, I think I know how you get to the artifact. How then? Behind that door, Maybe we'll have to see and deal with these things again. Yeah, that one. Otherwise, you just need to jump, jump up the... Yeah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Jump to the ledge. We can't get on top of this thing, and we can't get over this. But we might be able to glide over here. I'm unsure on the distance, but if we can get this thing to pick this up, and then we cling to it. We're so greedy. No, we can't actually climb on it. Okay. What exactly are we to do with this thing? And we can't reach those crystals. I guess we need somewhere to stand on. And we can't stand on that. So what is its use? Other than, well, keeping one of these jackasses busy. to this thing. Uh, otherwise, not really anything else at the moment. Hmm. Okay, let's explore a bit. Maybe we'll find something. And there's two of them hidden in here. Yeah. Can't get a sight on. Okay, I'm guessing we need to bring them. Oh, we need to bring it over to there then. And the question remains: How do we get it down here? Because these ledges are blocked by debris. Let's see, there is. Active bombs over there. Chest with a life shard here from the looks of it. And Something up top, probably one of the worms, and I very much doubt that we can reach that by jumping, especially since that thing's over there. <sighs> so we're going to need some sort of grappling hook. Okay. 
how do you get that thing over there then? Or is this all a side area? No, it... Hmm. Let's see. We can bring it down here. It's not the junk. Yeah, technically, war could just kick away, but, uh, <laughs> well. Yeah, these are inactive. We can't smash those because we need to be able to stand still. To charge up the attack. Uh, what is it we're supposed to do then? Bring you down again for a moment. Really can't climb it. So, yeah, this this thing has one purpose, and it is to block off. One of the barnacles over there. Probably is getting it there. Do we have anything in our arsenal that might be able to work with that? Uh, is your uh, voice uh, uh, singing your right? Hmm? You have a bit of. My big one, why am I? You sometimes can just uh, voice. Tear up a little bit. <clears throat> better now. Uh, it's, it's better. I mean, like there's a sound like it tears up from a technical point. Okay, I will have to like keep an eye on OBS then. Move that aside so I can get a good look. Yeah, it's not fun otherwise, but occasionally it just suddenly tear up your voice randomly. That thing, I don't think this really has much of a difference. Maybe it'll deal more damage than the, than the blade. Well, I imagine the blade. Yeah, I, I mean this in the cross blade, if I remember its name correctly. If we walk in here, it's going to attack us, grab us, and throw us back. So there has to be something that we can do here. We are missing something. And this is the way to progress. Maybe not this way exactly. I think there's going to have to be some way to transfer this block between them. The question is how? So you can't climb on. Or am I just completely overlooking something? Don't that this will have anything. Nope. That thing is basically just uh, an over <laughs> a glorified key. <gasps> oh no, I would call it a very loud key. I think, I think that me and my friend have a problem with this one as well, and... Okay, so you can't even brush past those. And yeah, throw back.
grab that ledge, but you can't get to it. It's that little side passage. Let's check the previous room. Maybe we overlooked something. And he has no new material. Okay, no underwater passages or anything. Doesn't seem like it, and the entrance to here was a one-way trip. So yeah, there is something that we're overlooking. Yeah, but what is the question? Can we just shoot those things or something? Yeah, we can, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Is the anything burning around? There's hot stone over there. That's not going to be enough. Let's get you down again. Wait. How do you hold on to it? Then you get to lift up? No, we can't because this is a hold bar like that, you can see. But have we been, we been able to hang on it in the forest, I recall? No, those were a different type of block. Is that a, is it? Uh, maybe a sort of capacitor, judging from the of me. <laughs> okay, he just snatched that off instantly. <laughs> Fast reflexes. <laughs> you can't even grab the ledge. Okay. I I have no idea how to continue from this. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let's let's just look up a bit because I get the feeling there's something at play here that's just not explained or missing something incredibly obvious. on fire, throw the ones in the middle. But, uh, okay, I think this is talking about this. Strike. No, I'm... Maybe this one. Wait. Wait, what? That could have been made a lot more clear. I thought there was something you should hold on to. And can we 
Grab that, yep. There we go. Okay, but how is go how is knowing time going to help us? Oh, I, of course. <laughs> Now we can just run past these idiots. I don't think go fast. Okay, yeah, that could have been uh, made a bit more obvious. Make all of the sites uh, climbable. <laughs> there it goes. And now we have our way up. And now we have company. There he is. Yes, yes, here I am, and here I go. Because we have no actual need to fight those. Is. Keeping an eye out for any possible secret passages. Hidden stuff. Hmm. Okay, where are we now? Oh, oh. <laughs> There's extra souls hidden around. What is that sound that they keep making? It's the worms making that. That sound. Sort of whale song. But for dune worms. I don't think that's them doing it. Oh. That might be a wind bell. Okay, big boy, but it, it sounds to be coming from the direction of the worms. <laughs> Gonna still have that one equipped. I'm pretty sure he's the bigger fool for sending his, <laughs> sending his henchmen into a blender. Oh, speaking of blenders. what I was actually going for, but okay. Oh. Seven one coming. Okay. We have invincibility. And then we can deal with you personally. There we go. And, and now he's going for it personally. Okay, we can deal with him. Oh, and two more of those. Nope. Did you just run over your own? <laughs> well, if they are demons. They don't care anything about each other. Ow. Try to block that. using the wrong shoulder button. Mm. 
Right. Yeah. Time to bring this. Okay, we'll get to the point. Okay, let's see if I can counter you. Yes, we can. Okay. And there we go. I think we are getting close to what I remember about this area. So I'll give another hint. Uh, we've been seeing it sort of throughout the game so far already. How did that miss? Plenty of candidates for the goofy holler. <laughs> Did that one just jump off of his own accord? <laughs> uh. I don't spit it with a worm! Uh, that was probably the smartest demon of them all because he just decided to fuck off on his own terms. <laughs> Oop. And I almost fell off myself. Uh, I'm gonna need to check the recording for that. And apparently war has a spider sense for rock falls. <laughs> Get the feeling that the uh, thing that is causing all of these shock rays might be the Stygian. Very possible! Or something worse. Because it sounds very, very big. And I think. Yeah, this seems to be the place. Or. Isn't the other thing it is? Okay, maybe not yet, but we are close. And this time we don't have the luxury of a chronosphere. Okay, just wait for it to be far, far away. As much distance. Okay. We have plenty of distance for short bits. Um, let's have a look at them. There's a closed door there. There's another over that way. So we just need to get across to over there. This was probably a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't really... Well, it's... This looks to be a bit shorter. And, yeah, we would have been running straight... Straight towards it. Though we are going to be doing the same here anyways now. Get out the sand. And if that's the worm, think of the fish you can catch with it. Oh, that... Wait. Didn't you just steal my yoke? 
Okay, I missed that it turns towards us. First your rifle, Steve, on you. And now we're I also bought a big good bird speed. Uh, yeah, that shows uh, get you close and it's an instant kill. Though I do have to wonder, could we sneak behind it? Like, how fast can it turn? Quite fast. Okay. Go back to your circuits. Okay, so I think there is a small safe zone around each of these because it it would have got it should have gotten us there. It totally should have gotten us. And yeah, the sound is totally coming from the worms. Okay, your oversized hell spawn. Yeah, it turns towards here. Okay. It is close, but it's facing away, so we'll have to turn. And it actually didn't notice us for a bit there, so it isn't just contact with the sands that, that alerts it. It has to see us, I think. Which will be good, because we're going to have to cross quite a bit of distance here. until his back is turned get some distance Go. okay that time it instantly is part of us <laughs> and it was actually closer than I thought Good. that way that's going to be the longest distance yet. Okay, so wait for it be, uh, to be on the complete opposite end of the room. Wait, when do two of them here? Nope, only one. Okay. It's far enough away that we don't even hear its song. So the fact that we hear it tells us enough. <laughs> Nervous. Oh, he has some souls to nerve your soul. No, to fear. Nice work of that. But I don't think sweet. Okay, some sort of half-hearted ambush. Hello. Goodbye. I just want to ask you a question. Well, they can try, but it'll be a, a swing and a miss. Uh, come on. Even more. Oh, it's one. Oh, you were. Did the one? Did the previous one have only one horn? I think so. What? The ball in the hall. This one. Oh, wait, hello. No, you have a gun of sorts. Oh, I can be the better again. Wait. Are they elite? So elite? Yeah, they're probably elite phantoms. Okay. There we go. 
dies all the same. And we get this toy. Fracture Cannon. Launches serrated shards that embed into surfaces and explode when triggered. Right trigger to fire, left to detonate. Okay. It's a rocket launcher. And we can fire up to four at a time. And they will go off on their own. Okay. First though, let's grab ourselves a Roth core. A Roth fragment. Actually, no, it's just souls. Look at okay. this guy. The Re Redemptor is a holy line machine gun. Meanwhile, the yep. fracture cannon is a demonic rocket launcher. Sort of, yeah. And I think it was called the Redemption, not the Redemptor. Anyway, we're right. carrying this thing over. Yeah, I think it... Oh, he, <laughs> he was going to give us one anyways. Oh, hello there. And there's an extra one over there. Okay. Oh, I heard you. Oh, did I knock, did I knock that guy back down? Hello there. Oh, tough guy. Not tough enough. <laughs> I think that one that ran up behind me, behind <laughs> behind us, uh, was one that we knocked. I got knocked down, and he, he had two spikes in his face. I hope I saw that one. What is this I don't with an iron gun that show in the middle finger? I think there was one survivor there who fell down. I will. Oh. Sorry, it was a hand. Oh, uh, hello. And those do hurt ourselves as well. Did you just shoot a short of his horse? <laughs> Good chance, yeah. It wasn't me, I had hated him. Now uh, war hates all demons. <laughs> and all angels. And basically everyone else. Except for the other horsemen. Wait, what? Those he tolerates. Wait, what was the markings on the boxes? That jackass. Okay. If you want to have a shootout with the horsemen, go ahead and. Oh. What is that? It looks like scrap. Okay, we can dodge a bit when we're carrying something, but only a little distance. I see you up there. There is a slight homing effect if you have got one of them and locked in like that. Ow. Tough one. And yet more. Or no. Nope. What are you up to? Oh. <laughs> that isn't going to lower the bridge for us. And now we just have to survive against a bunch of these. 
have a flashback from the hobby about this one. Signed his own death warrant, and he's he's still working at it. Well, oh, no, there he is. Never mind. This makes it easy. Is that all he says? That he's completely stunned. If that is all, then it's more than you can take, dumbass. Oh, you should probably go for that chest. Nope. Yeah. We are yeah, getting low. Yeah, so... I think we can retreat. One thing she... I, I almost wanted to see if I could nail that guy in the air. Still him back there, <laughs> behind the mechanism. And he's trying to attack, but his attacks are getting blocked by the ceiling. Okay. I think that's going to be most of it. I should have expected it to not be. Yeah, what do you have plenty of extra? But we have plenty of these lying around. Luckily, yeah, luckily we don't have to walk up to the, the souls to get them. Yep. <laughs> they just don't give up, huh? Yep, this is definitely having that focus feed. Well, this is a focus behind this guy. Okay, you're finally done. Nope. Okay, press forward through these. Yeah, and I got one in the air. He's still alive. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. And we gotta leave it behind. And this is where it is, I think. Yep. consistent with the damage. We don't want to get too close. Oh. Yep. 
Okay, I thought it was an opening, but I missed it. So let's just keep gunning it down. Okay, his sword was missing there for a bit. I think. Ah, there we go. Ow. And of course, it wouldn't be demons if they weren't absolute bastards. Let's, let's charge up our chaos for this. Now you're okay. Okay, is that all? Oh, no, we have one last survivor. I should have saved Chaos Form for this, but we could just farm a bit on these. No, that's not going to be enough. So, yeah, new enemy type. Dead Horseman? Yeah, I think we're like Dead Horseman. Yeah, they still have their heads. That's a hell. It's not head like. That also fits, yeah. And I think one of them is vulnerable was vulnerable. I, I think I saw the execution sign out. Okay, I'm guessing they don't. Oh. <laughs> I guess they do. Should have. Yeah, at least one of them is smart. <laughs> Not smart enough to keep all of these idiots in line, though. I like these. also don't generate any chaos. Yep. It's been a bit since we've seen this. Or that might actually be the first time that we saw that execution. Yeah. Okay, will I finally get to what I remember about this or not?
disappoint me, horseman. You look quite small from up here. You can look me in the eye when I kill you. Let's see how you fare, horseman. With only two legs to carry you. Okay, now we're getting to it finally. Okay, that's new. Come on. No stone? Okay. No, you don't. Oh. Okay, so we can <laughs> we can counter the block at the charge. If we're locked on, of course. And away with you. And again, this is the game on easy. What was that? Okay, just an oh, ow. <laughs> okay, going a bit super sane with this. Oh. Uh, there's a health box nearby. Right behind him, actually. You may need it. Yeah. I'll see about taking one more hit. Oop. Then I'll go grab it. Oop. Yeah, rabbit, rabbit. Yeah. Try to cut us off. Oh, hello. This one's different than the others. The worst treatment is also different than maybe. This guy's an actual challenge for him. Fuse, you'll kill me. I'll take my chances.
you not entertained? <laughs> And there's your Spartacus reference. <laughs> ruin. War and Ruin are reunited. While riding Ruin, short attacks become very powerful. Left and right. Okay, both of the shoulder buttons to summon. We are a horseman, after all. And what is a rider without a horse? Uh, yeah, now we're just absolutely decimating these. Uh, let's try and stay out of the lava. And I, th I think that Logo is actually supposed to be a skull made out of scrap. Yeah, you And yeah, we can move around a lot faster now. Though Ruin can't appear everywhere. Now th this is actually going back, so this way. Okay, now the worm here. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay, dodge becomes charge. Yeah, now we have to fight one of these things. Okay, okay that's obviously not doing anything. Right. in the mouth. <laughs> no. Did you stop coughing because you stuck me in the mouth? No. <clears throat> I think I need another drink. Oh, oh, come on, that was cheap. Is it uh, <laughs> he was in a wall for a moment. Not anymore. And there we go. That is how we kill these worms. That is how we kill the worms. Well done. But that was only practice for the Stygian. The biggest and meanest of them all. And Ruin can't go here. Yeah, my little hint of... Uh, with us since the beginning, the horse head on the left side whenever it saves. Oh. No big boy. It's speed, Billy.
Oh, uh, hello. Give me that gun. I could use chaos for but I'd say these guys are wounded enough to be finished off like this. Ow. Then we can be a bit uh, reckless because we have the uh, the health box right next to us. Okay, gimme. The rest there's Well, we only got it to finish off the stragglers. So, oh, I, yeah. Oh, peanut gallery up top. That's the last one, I think. Yep, actually not. But we'll finish this one off with her sword. If we can get to them, that is. Otherwise, we're just ignoring them. Actually, you probably could have just run straight through here. Oh, never mind. Only a dog gone. Okay, there we go. Easy enough with this thing. And since you were complaining up there, you have come a bit more. Yeah. They pretty more. They pretty heavily encourage grabbing this thing because it just gives so much damage. Okay, are we now done with these guys? Or is this another big shooting section? This is going to be a swimming section. Well, you probably need a ball after all that fighting. Yeah. Okay, another soldier artifact. Yep. There's a limited amount of those things, of course, as we can see here. I think the second layer is also soldier artifacts, and then there's six in the middle, and then the one in the very middle are the, ra are the rare versions, which, of course, give even more souls. And also are very much <laughs> harder to reach. Okay, where do we climb out? Or do we... I think we have to swim underneath some... I think we are just... Okay, this way forwards. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's see. Almost at two hours. Yeah! How really a good this play! Yeah. I, I don't think we'll get to beat another boss for the third video, the third stream in a row. But at least we made a lot of progress. 
symbol in the upper right corner that shows if you can use Ruin or not. And Volgren. Okay. Perfect. What would you want? He's just going to say the same line every time. Flip saw, power strike, sword upper cut. Okay, these are only for the... The Chaos Eater with the upgrades, these are for the other, for the side weapons. Hmm. Might as well inspire in those. Meteor launch, leaping grounded pound that will send multiple enemies flying. Hmm. Ooh. Excellent choice. Multi-hit finish. You are as wise as you are powerful. Leaping boss saw attack. Okay. And stone skin drains for off while active. It uh, hardens, reducing enemy damage, increasing the effectiveness of Rout's attacks. Okay, so defense and attack up. And here's the upgrade for the blade geyser. Emulation, also another drain. A barrier of smoldering hellfire and affliction, which costs two bars actually. Plague enemies with an affliction causes damage over time. Yeah, let's go for this one first, it's just because we can upgrade it. There's the Sijin. I guess we might, I guess we might kill all three bosses after all. question is, uh, what took more <laughs> did the, yeah. Has war killed more demons than the... Oh. Okay, better wording would have been, what has cost more lives? Wars Rampage so far, or <laughs> them go putting it changed up like that? That's a good question, though. I just realized, sure, it's not hard. I don't want to use this tennis to turn them. Also, there was a Wilhelm scream in there when, when the demon got squished. I missed that. By the chain. Okay. Oh, Rune has oh, only a limited amount of... Oh, yeah. There's, so, there's an axe buried in its nightmare. Actually, there's a half an armory buried in it. Rune has only a limited amount of charges. Five. Right, as you can see around the circle. Mm. 
that's not doing anything. The trouble with that muzzle is that it's also blocking its mouth by opening up to reveal its weak spot. Oh, did that do? Is that actually doing anything or is it just... There we go. Now we no longer got our hammer mask. But now we can actually eat. And it can be killed. Let's keep a distance. Okay, big boy, what are you up to? Wait, don't tell me it's just summoned more. Oh, it's a yoga ball there. Oh, it's only small ones. Keep shooting. Getting close is painful because they knock us over. Ah. Luckily, we can summon him again right away. Oh. They said even hurting them. That is. Okay, I don't know why they're choosing to go airborne. Come on. Where's the, the stage hiding my solid uh, No, she is not! <laughs> I thought it was a small one. Okay, that got in a good amount of damage. Oh, oh, it's right on us. Come on. Show your ugly. There's your ugly mug. Come on. Oh. Are you going to keep playing water polo or whatever? Or water berlay, whatever it's called. What? I think it's... Uh, it's trying to... It was trying to get us from below. Um... As big as this pistol is, it doesn't actually have that much range. And it's summoning again. Specifically keeping his back to us. Actually... I think this is her still. Ow. That's <laughs> time to try posing our... Yep. Charging into it also doesn't help. Luckily, it seems like these things, after enough time, just piss off on their own. Nope. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, come on, it was under the ground already. Then again, it's only loose sand. And I think they just left, yeah. It's my Morgan only. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's trying to grab us from on below. Oh, yeah. Just the, the turning circle on this thing. <laughs> So that's what happens. Uh, okay, I thought it was trying to eat us in the in the air. Oop. Why weren't you shooting war? Come on. There you go. And that's it. Three bosses, three strings. Third heart of the chosen. <laughs> and another lifestone. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but get the Stygian's heart back to Samael. Still, all these hearts, the power he'll get from them. I hope you know what you're doing. It's not like we have much of a choice. Let's see. Might there be something here behind here? And we're still under two hours. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I honestly did not expect that we'd making this quick a pro yeah. no. making a progress this quickly. Now, let's go back to Holgrim and deliver this thing to Samuel. And then the, our next target will be Straga. Grab what we apparently did not get saved. Yeah. 700 shorts of what we want. Bravo, Even the ash crawling Stygian lies dead in your wake. Who can stand against you? Yeah, you're welcome to try. And that actually is all of the fast travel locations that we have here, it seems. Oh, yeah. Back to the drowned pass. To get the let's see, it was a short, a life shard, a broad shard, and was there something? Oh, Maybe the piece of abyssal armor as well. Yeah, I know there was some skill shard, one or two, but I don't know which one there were. I recall one of them being good. I'm trying to think. Drawing a bit of a blank. Uh, we can smash that. Uh, yeah, there's something behind there. We can't reach it like that. We tried that before. We do have some capability for memory. I also remember that we get uh, we go over here to get behind it. Uh, you have to defend your memory. What's your last name? Alright, what's your title? There we go. There's a rock shard. Let's see then. There's still that up there, which I have no idea how to reach, even with yeah, the Christmas shadowing thing. 
You know, if you have some other things to be found by diving into the water to find out what the cakes and such. Yeah. I believe here. Okay, I did not remember this. Easy enough. And I think there was something over this way that was guarded. But we don't have to defeat the guards. We just need to grab the stuff and run. Yep. Because they can't touch as well, we're hoping it. There we go. Abyssal armor piece. Some extra souls. Hello and goodbye. Okay. Then life shard remains somewhere. Maybe it was on this building. Maybe. I know we found one. No. Oh. But also with this one. For that we need to get up here and move around. And there's the life shard. Okay, one more until the next bar is full. I wanna work it down this big last time. Yeah, I think we didn't actually hit a checkpoint or anything. Because we stayed in the same area. So we need to go to another area for this checkpoint. Yeah, if we interact with Volgrim, it'll probably count. For now, though, but can we... We, we did interact with Volgrim last time, we were looking out. Hmm. Yeah, then we'll then we'll just try moving to a different area through the Serpent Holes, over to... Uh, yeah, over to Samuel. Samuel. I'm never going to get the pronunciation. Sammy. You can go with Sammy if that helps. Or Samantha. Or just Sam. But wait, why Samantha? <laughs> Needs to be a dick. Hmm. Yeah, there is something on that that is right there, but I have no clue how we're supposed to reach that. I think we can get to it from the other roof over there, but then the question is, how do we get up there? Good question. I think I'll get into something. Don't think there is some more I can go around here? Not sure. But let's just go talk to Volgrim. I'm sure that we pass a safe point. And yeah, head to Samuel. And there we'll call it. Actually, there's no need to do that, any of that anymore. What would you ask? Okay, trading the artifacts. And then we upgrade the blade geyser. Okay. And over here. Yeah, might as well talk to him. Okay. Once we're on the other side, the game should save. Um, yeah, shall we, shall we talk with Samuel to finish this off or leave that for the start of next time? If you talk to him, it should save. Okay. 
As well, with the an evil act against our viewers, they give them a cliffhanger. Well, would it be an even worse would lift? We're leaving them waiting for whatever is coming after a worse rip. Now we're fire bats here as well. One more. Just one more, and then war. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones, those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time, long enough to tell her things. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. Okay, so we're not going after Straga. Instead, we're going after a freaking spider. Soul Braids. War can now access one's dormant soul bridges. Charge ruin through their pillars to activate them. Okay. Well, I guess for some people watching, this will end on not a cliffhanger and just a note of dread. <laughs> yep. And now we should probably save. Wait, we have a saving mechanic, don't we? Yeah, but I, I think it just say. Uh, <clears throat> I think it just uses the last uh, checkpoint. Because we saved when on we got to Volgrim last time, after we got the stuff, and it, it didn't stick. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should stick now. Yep, it should. Otherwise, I'd be very confused. Okay, uh, again, I did not expect us to get <laughs> this fast through it all. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping if we can go a four for four, that we get to, uh, <laughs> that we get the Silitha in the next stream and kill her. But that'll have to, we'll have to see that next time. I'm impressed if that happens. <laughs> for now. We have Slime Rancher on Saturday, and so yeah, we'll have to wait until next week either, either way. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyone who may be watching now or later, thank you. Thank you especially, Drakira. Did you mute on all of a sudden or something? No, no, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, good. Brain fart there. And, uh, yeah, next time, Slime Rancher, uh, something Sunday, and then next week, more Darksiders. So, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out.